let's sketch and label three points for this graph. So this is the square root graph. It curves this way. And it's nice to know that 0, 0, is an answer because when you substitute x equals 0, y, or f of x, is equal to the square root of 0, which is 0. 1, 1 is another point. When we substitute x is 1, the square root of 1 is 1, so y equals 1. Similarly, 4, 2 is another point on this graph. When x equals 4, the square root of 4 is 2. What is f of 25 given f of x equals the square root of x? We substitute x equals 25. So f of 25 is equal to the square root of 25, which is 5. Can we sketch this graph? We know that y equals square root of x is the base graph. It looks like this. 0 comma 0 is the origin and it curves upwards towards the right. Remember that for the x values we go counterintuitively two units to the right. So this origin goes two units to the right of, of the 0. And when you say minus 3 we go three units down. So the origin is now here and the graph opens up towards the right this way. So this is the sketch. So what is the domain of this graph? We draw this two right, one, two, and three down, one, two, three. So as this graph opens up towards the right, we recognize that the domain is x must be greater than or equals to two x is greater than or equals to 2. y equals square root of x minus a plus b. Given a and b are greater than 0, they're positive, describe the transformation. So this here is a radical. If we say y equals the square root of x, it looks like this. But we're going to shift a units to the right and b units up. So a units right and b units up. For example, if y equals the square root of x minus 2 plus 3, where a is 2 and b is 3, what happens to this beginning, this vertex of this graph at 0, 0, the origin? It moves to right, 1, 2, and 3 units up, 1, 2, 3. So this is the new starting point, and it curves up towards the right. Let's sketch this radical. When we have y equals the square root of x, we have a nice graph starting from the origin here. We have 0, 0 and 1, 1 as key points on this graph. However, when the a value is negative 2, it flips. We multiply every y value by negative 2. So the graph goes below the x-axis and instead of 1 comma 1, we have 1 comma negative 2 because we multiply 1 by negative 2. Furthermore, we shift the graph one unit to the left. So instead of starting at 0 comma 0, we now start at negative 1 comma 0. And the graph retains its shape. And instead of being at 1, negative 2, we shift one unit to the left. So we have 0, negative 2 right on the y-axis. So the domain of this graph is x plus 1, the inside of the radical symbol, is greater than or equal to 0. Subtracting 1 from both sides, we have x is greater than or equal to negative 1. And that looks correct based off this diagram here. As for the range, we start here and we always go down more and more. So y is less than or equal to 0.